So as part of the OSI 502, I believe it is CPU build we're working on, I need some 2114 SRAMs. And I'm going to use the retro chip tester here to test. I've got a number of 2114s on the board here. So if I remember right, we need to hit OK here. And then we can hit jump to get to 2114. And there we are, 2114. So on the piece of anesthetic foam here, I've got a bunch of national 2114s here. Uh, 200 nanosecond, 200, there's some Intel ones here that are 400 nanosecond. Uh, here's a couple of national ones that are 300, another national 300, more national. Uh, those are 2102s. Those are 2147s. I don't remember what they are. Those aren't 2114s. There's a few up here, but I've got 8, 16. I think they're Signetics. It's an S from 1979. And these would be age appropriate, I believe. Leads look okay. I don't know if we can get focus on that with the camera or not. But I'm going to go ahead and give these a shot. And if I can find 16 here that the retro chip tester thinks are okay. we will hold on to those and use them. So the board is tilted up an angle here to reduce the glare because there's so much bloody glare. And did you see what I just did? I just changed the SRAM type accidentally. Let's see if we can come around to 2114 again. There it is. I will say it out loud here, I really dislike how the menu system works on this. I really dislike it. Uh, okay. So this, is, well, this isn't testing these necessarily to speed. It's just doing, you know, gross functionality. Let's uh, look for another one of these. Let's see if we can get this a little more stable. Pull that roll of tape out from under there and slide this in next to this one and see if we can get it to sit a little more stable. I don't know why it's rocking so bad there. I just know that's irritating. Okay, that seems a little more stable. Let's just keep working through these and see if we can come up with 16 that actually work. If these 16 do I'll be, you know, work, I'll be very happy. Uh, okay. You know, this has been a really good tool, uh, the retro chip tester. So I just dislike how the menus work, and many people have complained about that. It's just it's just difficult to use, and I can never remember run to run. You know, used to use because I use it so infrequently. Uh, how the menus work? I guess I should make a cheat card for it. So so far, we've been lucky. I'd love for all of these ones from 1979 to work. They're just so age appropriate, honestly. You know, the right, they're in the 70s, they're not in the 80s, and that, and that gets them very close to what the OSI would need. This will get me, if these all work, 8K of RAM on that CPU board, uh, which will be nice. Uh, my intent, that one's actually 78, 78, 29. 79.10, so these are from 78 and 79. Very nice. In my memories box, I probably got eight or so pads like this. Just stuffed with DRAM and SRAM. There's a lot of DRAM, a lot of DRAM. Lots of SRAM, lots of uh, 2116s, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a few exotic kind of oddball parts in there as well. Well, we're halfway through and so far we're good. Very nice. I'm very happy these are moving ahead the way they are. You know, we've almost fully stuffed that board, I've, uh, that the CPU board. Uh, it's a different video series than I think this will be. Uh, but it needs RAM. I've got some capacitors coming for it. 
I'm just pleased as punch that these are working. All of these are going to be pulls. I think everything here is going to be a pull from something over the years that got, you know, scrapped, was unrecoverable, was unrepairable. Couldn't, you know, could never figure out what it was. Really happy these are working now. I think this is only testing at 5 volts as well. Uh, often lowering the voltage to 4.8 or up to 5.2 and testing will uncover errors as well. I am an ex-test engineer for memory devices really centered around EEPROMs, but uh, it's called a VCC margin test. And you can expose weak storage cells by lowering the voltage or raising it. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy with raising it and damage the part. I we're down to the last one. And like I said in, earlier in this, it's not testing them to speed, but it's testing them for gross functionality. I am really pleased all 16 of those worked. Uh, wow, that is really, really cool. Let me pull a nat semi part here. Probably, you know, that I don't know if that's 79th, 17th week of 79. I find it hard to believe it would be 89. Just really pleased this is working. So I need to dig up a piece of foam to store these in. They're the ones I'm going to use. Uh, oh, yeah, the, these. TMM parts do say 2114L2s on them. Anyhow, I don't know what speed these are, but they should be adequate. That you know, you know, the it's not a speed beam in the system that we're going to be putting these into by far. But uh, there it is. I'm very happy with that. Uh, 16 tested 2114s. That's a nice step forward on this build. So. I don't know what else to uh, say here in this video beyond, you know, I'm really pleased. So uh, I guess I will wrap this one up. It's a short one. I hope to see you in a future video. And we'll talk soon.